So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our router server into a router well where we will uh, pass our traffic from DC01 through our router server right out to the internet. And first thing we want to do is go into uh, router01 settings and let's get to the right one. Here we are. So there's our router01. You have to have already installed Windows on it. So uh, we're just going to assume that you did that. Right click and choose settings. And you can see we have a network card and we earlier changed this LAN segment to LAN segment one where it was used to be NAT. So that way we could communicate between the three different servers or two servers in the client. So what we're going to do is click on add and we're going to choose a network adapter. And next, and we're going to say NAT, which is fine. And power it, you know, uh, connect it power on. So if we switch back to our um, document here, we just did all these steps right here. Now we're going to go ahead and boot up router 01 and we're going to open up the network sharing and change the adapter settings. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start up router 01. All right, let's log in. So remember, this, this is the one device that is not a member of the domain yet. So let's go back to here, and we're going to uh, say that the new network card, we're going to change that to be called WAN, and we're going to call the other network card LAN. So we're going to have a pass-through here. So you need a network card on the inside of the network to share with DC01 and client, and you need a network card on the outside of the network uh, as well. So let's take a look at what Ethernet0 says. And this says 192.168.0.1. Okay, so we know this is our LAN, a local area network. So let's rename it to LAN. That makes our other one because it's going to be set to automatic, our WAN one. Let's make sure that it has an IP address. So let's go to status, and we can go to proper or uh, details, and we see 192.168.213.133. So that's not the same subnet, so we know that that's the right one. So let's rename that guy WAN, because that's our way out to the Internet. All right, so now let's uh, make sure you get a screenshot of that for the lab. Now let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer and just make sure that the Internet works before we move on. All right, ask me later. So let's go ahead and put in website. Now, if you don't get it to come up, some of you it'll just work right away, but others you, it may end up saying, hey, I can't find that page. That's okay, because this doesn't happen all the time, and I'm glad it happened here, just for example purposes. Um, but what's happening is, is it's using the DNS server on the LAN, uh, which was 192.168.0.5, but if you recall, uh, that DNS server doesn't yet have access to the Internet. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is go into the, uh, on the WAN side, and let's just go ahead and put in a public address on that one, which uh, we'll use all eights for Google. And we'll hit stop. And there we go. So now we got to come up. Actually, it looks like uh, CNN's website it just happens to be down right now, which is what part of my problem was. But you get the idea. Just in case you run into that problem, you can manually put in a DNS server and get that to go and we can change that back at a future time if we want so uh, the good news is that uh, we seem to be you know, on the internet now on router 01 and I hate adding these stupid things but I just don't uh, want to go through the effort of turning that off right now so we'll just go ahead and add and there we go so there's our news so let's close there we go we're all closed up now so now we're going to go ahead and install routing and remote access services on router 01. So we're going to add that as a role and a feature. 
All right, we're going to add the click the add roles and features button. Next, next. There's our router. Next. And we're going to click on remote access. It's going to pop up a little message here. There we go. It didn't pop up that time, but that's okay. If it does, just click uh, add features if needed. Uh, all right, so we're going to uh, leave the features part alone. And we'll choose next. And here's the important part. Make sure you check only the routing box and then add features to that. Okay, it'll automatically check the RAS, which is fine. But this is the one we want to click. And install. And again, could take a few minutes to go. Uh, just let it uh, give it some time to go ahead and finish, and we'll fast forward. Okay, it's all finished. Now we should see a new option under Tools. And we're going to go ahead and open up Routing and Remote Access. So that was not there before, but it is now. So let's go ahead and open that. And you'll see it's turned off by default. So let's right click on it and choose Configure and Enable. Next. All right, so here's the tricky part. So make sure you check the right box here. We want to just check network address translation. If you choose the wrong one, you're going to have a problem. And we're going to, uh, we have to pick which uh, interface we want this to happen. And this, this is the WAN interface. That's the one we want it to happen. And finish. And it's going to want to start the service, which, of course, uh, you'll want that to happen. If it still doesn't start, then we have to troubleshoot it. All right, so now this computer is going to take traffic from DC01, pass it through the LAN connection on router 01, then pass it through the WAN connection out to the Internet. So let's test it out and make sure it works. All right, if you recall, on our DC01, we did not have Internet access after we assigned the IP address of 192.168. Dot zero dot five. So we lost that internet access. But our gateway is dot one, which is our router, router 01, right? So now if we try to ping 8.8.8.8, if our setup was correct and router 01 is now going to route our traffic properly, we should see a response. And we do. So we are now going from DC01 into the router out to the internet.